Well, here's some progress. I did go to the airport a few days later. That was the next available flight for the fellow. I picked him up, dropped him off, set him up with internet, and then um, needed to get a bicycle fixed for him, and I have that bike in the truck now. So I'll get that dropped off. And you know, I think I might even give him a ride to work tomorrow morning just to make sure he's all settled in. I'd taken him to the grocery store, got that all covered. You're thinking, why are you running your tenants to the grocery store? You don't have time, and etc., etc. It helps word of mouth if, uh, if you have a good reputation with your tenants, they're going to tell a friend. And specifically what people rent one room for locally here is more than those houses that I'm supposed to be working on rent for. An entire house rents for less than one room. So I think it's worth my time and I actually enjoy people so I enjoy helping out. And remember most of my tenants are fine I just get bad apples like everyone else from time to time. Now speaking of bad apples, um, I've stopped watering these tomatoes about a month ago and they seem to be doing okay. We get some heavy rains from time to time. So I was going to have everyone come over, maybe get some uh, something cold to drink from the heat and relax a little bit get to know each other but uh, I I was mopping the floor and I, I think I put a little too much water in the bucket things are normally a little bit more put together cleaned up around here but uh, not this evening there were three computers that went underwater Believe it or not, there were spare computers waiting to be put into service. And unfortunately, I brought this filing cabinet over here and the lower drawer got nailed. All those files have been moved real quickly. We're down to below a gallon, a paint, paint can gallon for level. Actually, you can see it on that back wall. Water's going down. It's still raining though. I get these pumps at yard sales. And then sometimes people uh, throw them out. I collect them all, every last one of them. I want to test the pump before it ever gets scrapped because there'll be days like this where you can't have enough pumps. This was an effort to stop the water from coming in the door. It blew out the weather stripping. The water was gushing in so hard. There are two pumps working now. One that you just saw, and then the house sump pump. Simply the volume of water is too much. This is a mixture of Mr. Clean and water. Uh, I don't have bleach handy. I use a lot of bleach and I've been cleaning a lot of houses, so I left it somewhere else. So again, I mix it up. This should be labeled, by the way. When you mix things like that, this should be labeled, but I don't label it. So this mud and leaves and I'm not really sure where it comes from. But it creeps out. It goes everywhere. So then the next thing I do is just work this towards the door. It's um, a little after 1 o'clock in the morning. The rain stopped maybe a half hour ago. The heavy, heavy rain stopped before that. And by the way, there's a drain right here. Oh, you can't see the light. Let's see if the outside light will work. Um, there's a drain out there, there's only one step down off this floor, and then that drain ties into the sump pump system. However, 
there were drains um, this is a stairwell outside stairwell there were sta uh, drains buried and lines run that would run that drain out to daylight downhill from here they weren't completed um, it's been like that for many 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 moons but it it would require tearing up this concrete staircase this piece of baseboard was was off it floated away but I've got it so I've gone through here once with the mop and what you're looking at there is like see all that paper that was a recycling trash can that tipped over this was an empty floor though where all this came from I don't know and so this is how the process starts. If you like the smell of swimming pools, that's what this is going to smell like tomorrow when the bleach starts coming in. And look at all this. This was a nice floor. <laughs> All these things that are laying around, well, they just floated. They were somewhere else in the rooms and they just floated around. So again, we were higher than that step with water. Okay, I'm gonna play with this a little bit. This was clothing that I threw down against the door. It also floated all around, went everywhere. There are bits of that clothing it was like an ocean. My hockey skills will come in handy. Alright, let me get at this. Well, the first round is done. The floors have been brushed off, meaning like all those leaves that you saw and everything, that was all sent outside. It's not raining right now. Oh, you wanna see something uh, kind of funny? I have no idea where, I'm using it as a doorstop where this came from. I found it floating in the house here. <laughs> I have no idea where that was, where that was, but it's coming in handy now as a doorstop. And here's something sad. I was looking for this. This is for CP the tool addict. Well, actually not for him, but uh, a salute, a salute to him. All right, lately I've been watching a lot of scrappers, tool junkies, and then what used to be foreign films, like people in Russia and where is that, like Pakistan truck. If you've ever seen that YouTube, you'll know what I mean. That's some wild stuff. Anyway, so most of this has had its first cleanup. Here's a before and after. So that's what it looks like when it um, when it settles down. You get the water pumped out, and then you do this. And the next step is to take um, a solution. I like using bleach, bleach and water. And you want to get all this while it's still wet. You do not want to get this. Let this dry. You want to act on it now. I think it's probably like two in the morning. It won't take all that long to go through this place. As we're talking. I hear the rain starting again, but I think, I mean, this is such a rare event. To a couple interesting things, a long time ago this happened, and on the 25th of May, my, what I consider the love of my life, four-legged friend died, and it was unexpected. On the 25th of June to the day, one month later we had this super flood in here and again that flood was up here tonight we only made it to about here well 
I had mentioned a little bit in the other videos, I didn't want to say too much, but I had another four-legged friend who died a little over a month ago. So here we are. Every time someone really, really important in the in the furry furry face world dies, I gotta get ready for rain to follow. And by the way, um, again, this is what it looks like the before. So I haven't been in there yet. And I did I did hook up that pump. That was that pump was helping us get the water out. We had two pumps going. Well, by the way, one pump never turned off. It just stays on while this happens. It's just that there's more rain than one sump pump can handle. So I will install a second pump, but I bet you two pumps could not handle this either. So what I was saying was, um, I was thinking, right, I could call the bank and see if anybody from the bank I've paid them hundreds of thousands of dollars of interest. I'm sure they would come out and help. No? Well, how about the county? The county charges for this house $3,600 a year, which is a bargain if you live on Long Island, but it's a lot for me. So <laughs> I think maybe the county folks would come out and help me clean. I know who, I know who, tenants, tenants would come out. No, my current tenant, that's what, how far behind is he now? $3,600, dollars $36, $36.63 I think. That's written down. I'm sure he would, if, if he could stop smoking pot and get up out of his bed for a little while, maybe he'd come over and help. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure there's people that want to help a landlord. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, is I've got no excuses. I, uh, if somebody's complaining about their air conditioning tomorrow, or if they're complaining that their, their roommate ate some of their pizza or whatever, they don't want to hear about any of this. I gotta be, uh, at attention and, uh, either policing the matter or fixing the problem okay next step got to do the baseboards with a bleach around four in the morning the mops were worn out so this is the <clears throat> excuse me so i went out and bought a um, made in usa mop and this thing i tell you what as expected, it works very, very well. I basically, so, so this is what you're looking at here is uncleaned, like uh, it wasn't, this is the residue that's left after the floodwaters have gone. And this thing is picking up all this dirt and then I walk it over to either the shower or I've cleared out the kitchen sink and I rinse it. It works really, really well. 